What's going on, beautiful people? Jorge hey, Vassal signing in one more time. Hope you're having a fantastic day and everything is going your way. I just want to um, make a real quick video right now. This is just a real quick update video to a series of videos I put out a couple weeks ago. Tales from the Cryptoverse. Let's check it out. Okay, because we might have to reference this again. Tales from the Cryptoverse. My DeFi guru exposed. Is this guy bugging or is it me? This is a two-part series. There's a part one and a part two. And in those two videos, I played actual voice recordings between Mr. My Goof, DeFi Guru and myself, as well as shared the Telegram messages between he and I, as it regards to a platform that he was getting paid in, but most other people were not, and he was okay with that at that point. And even now today seems to still be okay with that. As I listened to him, and this video he posted today. Due diligence is overrated. And shout out to the people who sent this my way so that I could give a quick update on it. Now, in this video, he tries to explain away what I said in my videos. He tries to rewrite history. He does not tell the truth. He misrepresents the timeline of the events, right? He says in the new video today, he's like, I still helped the guy. I still helped the guy in, in spite of everything. I helped the guy. That's not true. He had already began helping me before he said the disrespectful shit that caused me to blow him up and put the other videos out about him. See, we were communicating back and forth. It was cordial. It was fine. Then he tried to say some slick shit and then shit went south from there. So he's misrepresenting the timeline in how it happened. He's also trying to make it seem like I'm just some crazy person who's sending him multiple Telegram voice notes back to back to back before he can respond. That also is not true. If anyone's used Telegram, you know voice notes has a limited amount of time you can record, right? So if you're gonna send, let's say a six or seven minute message, you're gonna send multiple messages because you can't record one six or seven minute message, right? And he had also sent me messages, I sent him messages. The point of it is, we don't need him to explain anything and you don't have to take my word for anything. Go and look, right, at the video, Tales from the Cryptoverse, My DeFi Guru Exposed, Is This Guy Bugging or Is It Me? Part one. If you watch part one, you will see the, the thread, you'll hear it firsthand, okay? And you'll hear what I said, you'll hear what he said. You'll see what I typed, you'll see what he typed. If you watch part two, you'll see the follow-up, okay? Because remember, after I filmed part one, I didn't upload it. I wasn't going to put it public. I sent it to him and gave him a chance to come correct because he tried to be disrespectful and he tried to be slick. But instead of coming correct, he remained arrogant, he remained condescending, he remained dismissive, so I had no choice but to expose him as I did. And now he's on a campaign to explain it away. I'm not a bully and I'm not trying to bash this guy repeatedly. I'm not trying to say bad things about him. I'm just trying to get the story out and let the truth be the truth. I'm not going to allow him to rewrite the truth or rewrite history. And that's what he's trying to do. And if you watch the video he recorded today, due diligence is overrated. He's still being a hypocrite. If you listen to the things he says when he says things to the effect of um, there are people out here who just believe what they believe and they won't see anything outside of that cognitive dissonance. First of all, he got that word from me because I said that about him in my other two part series. And if you watch his video today, he couldn't even pronounce it. It popped up on the screen, cognitive dissonance. And he said some wild shit, cognitive dissonance. He couldn't even read it. He don't know what it means because he's uh, he's he's affected by it. He's, he doesn't get it right. He can't see past what's in his mind. He can't see past his own ideas. And he thinks he's qualified to tell other people about themselves, even if he even never met these people. Listen to his video today even. He's going on and on about if somebody sent him one message and he's like, oh, I could tell this person's this way and I could tell that person's that way. That's a very arrogant way to be, my man. You don't know these people. Stop thinking that you can judge people that you don't know based off of one little sentence, okay? That's what you're doing here. I judged you 
based off of your attitude and your arrogance. And I judged you, Mr. DeFi Guru, based on the fact that you thought you could insult me on some slick shit and I wasn't gonna hear it, right? You thought you were condescending. You thought you were better than me. So you had to get put on blast. So we're gonna keep that energy flowing. Like I told you before, stay respectful. And you did. I'll give you a hats off today because I listened to your video. You didn't mention my name. Hats off to you. You didn't insult me. You didn't call me no names. You were very respectful. So I appreciate that. And because of that, I'm gonna also be respectful. And I'm not gonna call you out of your name. And I don't plan to make any more videos about you. But if I see you out here trying to rewrite history and trying to lie about what happened between you and I and about the fact that you were okay with getting paid from a platform that wasn't paying nobody else, then I gotta tell the people what it is. And guess what? This is my DeFi guru. Is this guy bugging? Or is it me? Part three. That's what this is right now. And if you make another video lying again, I'm gonna make a part four, okay? And it's gonna go forever. And you were wrong about one other thing. You said that I didn't get paid from Fusion. Guess what? After I put out my videos about you, I had a very nice conversation with Mr. Raphael. He called me on the phone. He was respectful. We spoke. I had my fund sent to me that same day. So guess what? I put videos about you saying that you pulled out $10,000 one month and then six months later pulled out another i don't know 25 whatever it was right i hadn't got paid all year long within two days of putting my videos about you miraculously i got paid right so there it is mr DeFi guru does it prove my point i think it does and the bottom line is you today you said that you helped some other girl deposit money in her account and ten thousand dollars hit your wallet because you were helping her with her deposit and her withdrawals but guess what when you posted in your telegram group you said my ten thousand dollar withdrawal hit my account there was no mystery girl that you were helping so now you're trying to detach yourself from the actual withdrawals that you were bragging about getting before so again you want some weird slick shit and we gonna call it out every time we see it because the truth is on my side. You keep talking about God, but you're not living godly. We gotta stop doing that. Keep God out of this crypto space if you're not gonna be living godly, okay? That's all I can say, my friend. So let's keep it a buck. I got my withdrawal. You were wrong, right? And guess what? You said that I didn't get my withdrawal because I said something bad about the program. If I did say something bad about the program and then withdrawals were withheld because of that, wouldn't that prove my point? That they're selectively paying certain people and not others? It shouldn't matter what anybody says about a platform. If you put money in the platform, they're supposed to pay you or give you your money back. But even by your attitude today and the way you said that, I could tell that you're okay with that. You think that's reasonable for a platform not to pay somebody based off of their personal opinions of that person or whatever that person says about the platform. Or even if you are in the downline of somebody that the platform has problems with. I told you it was 150 people not being paid. And your response was, oh, well, you're in that group with those, those bad actors, so I guess, you know, it, it all makes sense. Dude, it doesn't make sense. I don't give a fuck what my upline says. That shouldn't impact me not getting paid from a platform. And then listening to you today, again, I could tell that you're okay with these kind of things. So your, your, your way of looking at things, John, is just kind of warped. And I hope that these videos help you because you got people out here that listen to you and you are leading people off of a cliff. This is what I mean about you being a hypocrite. You say things about other people, but everything you're saying about everyone else that's in a negative light, it it's all about you. You should be saying these things about yourself. Look in the mirror, make yourself better, okay? That's what we need to do, all of us. And I am collaborative. I wish we could all work together and force these platforms to be legitimate, force them to stop disrespecting people. But unfortunately what happens is there's people like you that are apologists for bad behavior and bad platforms. And people like you kind of steer people in the way of platforms that are not doing the right thing because you make excuses for them. The platforms and the people. You snuggle up to these people, John, and then you are used as a tool that is what happened and that is what was proven if you watch my other two videos. You prove that, okay? It goes without a shadow of a doubt. So again, my thoughts and what I shared about the platform with you was based on my experience of being in that platform for an entire year. But you would not even listen to or consider what my actual real life experience was because you had it in your mind that everything was fine just because you and your downline had been paid right? So therein lies my issue with you. 
You say that other people have cognitive dissonance. You say other people can't get past what they believe and what they see and refuse to see facts. And that is exactly what you did, sir. I had receipts. I was willing to share proof with you and you did not care. You know why? Because you said your reality was not my reality. Your reality was not the reality of the 300 people I know not getting paid because you didn't give a damn about those 300 people. You only cared about yourself, John. And that was my issue with you. And you were arrogant and condescending and you were, you were okay today. You didn't say nothing out of turn about me. And I appreciate that. So we're gonna keep this brief and I'm gonna wrap it up right now. Keep it that way. And I will keep doing what I'm doing. I hadn't posted nothing else about you and I don't plan to. But if you go out here and you lie, I'm gonna put other videos out to tell the truth. Okay, because the truth has to be told. So truth number one, I did get paid from Fusion after I spoke with Raphael, okay? Truth number two, you misrepresented the timeline of events between the conversation between you and I. And truth number three, you have been full of shit, period, point blank, okay? Anybody that don't know, go watch the videos. My DeFi guru, no, Tales from the Cryptoverse, my DeFi guru exposed, is this guy bugging or is it me? Part one, watch part two this is part three that i'm recording right now and i will be posting that shortly okay so again i hope you straight um ship up man shape up please shape up be honest don't misrepresent realities because again we don't need you to explain what happened john i played the whole video here i played the whole audio here everybody can listen to it and come to their own conclusions okay so it is what it is. And to bring closure to the situation, I hadn't been paid for a whole year. I put the video was out about you. I got in touch with Raphael after that and I got paid the next day, okay? So again, you and your team were being paid and you were okay with the fact that multiple other people weren't being paid. Hundreds of people were not being paid. And you lied about you getting a $10,000 withdrawal. You said it was yours. And now all of a sudden today it was some other lady you were helping. So again, you're being real slippery, man. But it is what it is. You do whatever you want to do. All I'm going to do is keep telling the truth and telling my people what I need them to know. OK, so you do what you want to do. My DeFi guru, you enjoy your day. I hope you have a great weekend. Keep doing what you do. Keep it respectful. Don't say nothing crazy about me. I'm going to keep not saying nothing about you and we could keep it pushing. Everybody else that wants to know the conversation, that wants to hear it firsthand, you go listen to the audio. Lambo dude or whoever it was that interviewed you to get your side of the story. I don't know that dude. I don't watch his channel. I don't know what the the reasoning was behind that. I know that this industry is kind of clickish and there's certain YouTubers out here that help other YouTubers. So again, I don't know. Maybe this was like a public relations campaign to clean up your situation because this video was out there. Or maybe he was just curious and he was going to talk to you anyway. So he had to ask you that. It could be either one. Like I said, I don't know. I don't follow the content. I haven't seen it. I just heard it mentioned in the video today. So it is what it is. If he lied in that, again, watch the videos I posted and you will see and hear what it was and come to your own conclusions, okay? So I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my day. It's a lot of YouTubers out here doing good things, right? So check out my man, LT Mincy. He's out here doing passive income opportunities. Um, I got other people out here I'm rocking with. I give them shout outs from time to time. So check our channels. Let's get this crypto and let's be smart and just make decisions based off of intelligence and logic, not emotions, not fluff, and not misdirection. Because there's a lot of people out here trying to use misdirection to take advantage of folk, all right? So it is what it is. Jorge Vassal signing out, sending you nothing but love and happiness, joy, success, prosperity, wealth, and abundance. As always, beautiful people, please do well and be well.